This is a 2000 model JZX100 Chaser, which is a new project car for us here at Otomoto. As you can see, we've just thrown on some 18 inch wheels, which unfortunately make it look like a bit of a truck at this ride height. So, next step is to put in some HSD coilovers. As you can see, the ones on the left are the rears, they're a little bit longer, and they use a rubber bush at the top. Whereas the fronts use a pillow ball type mount. Step one is to measure the height before we get started. Usually go from the middle of the wheel up to the guard. Showing 380 at the front. And about 365 at the rear. Next, put the car up on jack stands so it's stable to work on. On the Toyota, you've got three nuts up the top. You can leave them for the moment. First, you want to disconnect this ABS linkage from here and on the on the chassis as well. Then you take out the bottom bolt. Tighter before, of course, and then you've got this bracket which is in the way, it makes it basically impossible to remove the whole unit. Luckily, it unbolts, you just have to take out the uh, bolt that's in here and also remove the lower sway bar link. Okay, so now that bracket's free, you can move this part around a bit more freely, so it's time to undo the top bolts. HSD unit it's quite a lot shorter than the original you can adjust it to be longer but it doesn't need to be anywhere near as long as the original one because of the stiffer spring rate we supply a little adjustable tag uh, for mounting the ABS sensor line uh, just leave it relatively loose when you're fitting the, sh the coil over and tighten it up once it's in the right place Okay, that's everything fitted here. There's the ABS line holder. It's locked into place now. And everything bolted back in place down here. The only thing left to do is set the height, so for now we're not going to tighten up the adjustment collars because we need to see where the car's sitting. So, that's the basic settings done. We move the car back and forth a bit to get it back to a normal height and we're showing 340 at the front for setting the height on chaser coilovers from the bottom of the top plate to the lock ring it's 280 millimeters now we finished off with a tower brace which is a pretty good idea Pretty much any car built in the 90s. And final thing of course is set the, the dampers. We've got them on nine clicks for each side which seems to work pretty well on this model. To get at the back suspension you have to take the rear seat out. The base just pops out and then there's four bolts along the back rest that you have to take out and it unhooks. Held in by three 12 mil nuts. Just one bolt at the bottom, and no ABS or anything to worry about. Spring compressor on the back, otherwise, it's a bit of a job getting it out. Okay, so at the back now we've got them set at 330 mil, so we'll see how that looks. the end result. Started out with 380 mil height at the front. It's now down to 345, so down 35 mil. The rear started at 365. It's now 335, so it's down 30 mil. Could go a little bit lower in the back, but you do get a little bit of settling in the first week or so. So it's got to do just to check it again and reset everything after a week or, so, or a week or two is driving. But overall, 
pretty big improvement.